how many times do we take the old standby as the default? And it immediately made me think about when I'm working with teams, how many times the specs they're testing to or the guidelines they design to or stuff, I, I, I challenge it. I'm like, why? Why, you know, why are you saying that this failed this test? I'm like, where's this value come from? Oh, I don't, my boss gave it to me. Where, where'd he get it? His boss. Where, where'd he get it? You know, and you dig into it. And it came from nowhere. You know, it's the emperor's new clothes. So then the question is, how many things are you developing that A, are far more expensive than they need to be? They're far, you know, it's five times stronger than it needs to be, which is cuts out of your bottom line or are, have very low margin on failing, you know, with very stresses and variabilities. And you find these failures in the field and you kind of quickly bucket them in other things like, oh, that was a quality defect. Oh, it's whatever. But it's kind of constantly happening in the background every time the stress gets over a certain level that's acceptable. Uh, you know, it's an acceptable stress for the use case, but causes failure. So the, you know, and how much is that costing you? And, and I, I saw, I kind of made this exercise or this little thing. I'm saying, next time you have time, take your technical team, buy them lunch, get them in a room and just say, you know what? Write down five standards that you go by or best practices that you don't know the origin of. Just write down five. And, you know, if you have five people in that room, you're going to have 25 of them very quick on that board. Now imagine two of those are costing you some percentage failure rate or some percentage of over cost in your product. Those two could be costing you 10 million bucks a year, you know? And so taking a little time to dig into these things that we say, oh yeah, the split lock washer is next to the nut and bolt. I'll just use that in our, in our you know, how you operate your, your company and your product development. I think... Asking that question, you'll get a great return on investment on those sandwiches you bought the team. 